It's a warm summer's morning on a farm in central Queensland. A young calf follows after its mother in hope of a feed and some comfort. It's quite a normal scenario. However, this is no ordinary calf. Today, Australia's scientific and agricultural heavyweights are watching closely. Eve is the first calf born from a very simple handmade cloning process that could potentially reinvigorate the country's beef industry. This is a cheaper technology, principally the same uh, ideology is behind. But what is different is the realization, the technology in the laboratory. It is faster, it is simpler, and it requires less instruments, and I think it is more efficient. Siku University researcher Professor Gabor Veta established the handmade cloning technology and has worked with the Australian Reproductive Technologies Facility at Mount Chalmers near Rockhampton to produce the calf. Eve was born at Oakland Stud in Kalapa during Queensland's massive floods at the end of January. But the drenching didn't worry Eve. Gabor and ART Managing Director Simon Walton joined Oakland stud owners Nev and Megan Hansen recently to check on Eve's progress. It's wonderful. We're, we're thrilled. I mean, everything's gone better than we could have hoped. It's wonderful. Very nice, yeah. We were a little bit afraid because it was just an experimental period. So, I mean, we started one program just to demonstrate how the cloning works and another program just to see if you can make some embryos. We've learned a lot from the people that have tried it before us. And so Dolly was one of 273 embryos and uh, Eve is, is one from, from six uh, cows that we transferred embryos into. So it was a fantastic result. Oh, everything's gone, yeah, perfectly. It, we didn't know what to expect, but it's gone better than we could have hoped, yeah. Although Eve technically does not have a mother or father in the traditional sense, her donor cow, birth surrogate cow and wet nurse cow were all nearby at Oakland. We had the embryos and then we had the uh, transferable embryos and then uh, Simon has helped to, to transfer them. We had the fun but everything was just by chance and now we have the uh, real success. So I think it is very promising from the point of the future, from the point of the commercial application. Now that the researchers have proven the technology viable, what's next?